Hello everyone, welcome back to Ninetale Hobbies. In this one, I'm going to be painting up the Valiants from the starter set of Bot Wars 2 Turbo Edition. And this can be applied to a plethora of different types of robots or sci-fi like Battletech. If you have not had the pleasure of painting or handling any of these sculpts before, for resin they are amazingly crisp. Mold lines are almost non-existent and they are beautifully done. And a quick aside, but this is a how I, not a how to. I'm going to use a couple of different methods, uh, but the one consistent thing is we're going to share a color palette. Uh, so if you pick a particular color uh, for one of the models, we want to stick with it just to give cohesion to the group. But always, always start with a Zenithal or slap chop or whatever method you want to go from dark to light. Uh, also, we'll do quick road bases at the very end. So yeah, let's jump straight into it and get the Valiants painted up. So one of the nice things about everything that we're going to be painting, we do have these awesome cards to go with, and that's going to help us a lot. I mean, you can paint it, of course, any way you want to, but especially on a game that you're just starting and everything, Following this will definitely help, especially if you're going to teach other people because they're going to be referencing this and it helps if the model matches up. All of this is going to be speed paints. So we've got our yellow on. And again, you don't have to follow exactly to the card. And this is a bit orangey, but remember, we are going to be highlighting up. So a little bit of a darker orange, you know, color variation is actually going to help out. And we're going to start laying in all of our other colors. Uh, he gets orange, but we're also going to be using blacks, grays, uh, runic gray, which is a bluish kind of color. These are going to be the colors that tie everything together that every single one is going to have. Of course, each one's going to have their own accent color, but these are the main basic ones that help tie them together. This is all right. This is just speed paint. If you are in a super duper hurry and just want to get everything slapped out real quick, then this is totally doable. Stick it on a good base and you're good to play. But we're going to push this. We're going to add some very simple highlights. No washing. We want to keep this as saturated as possible and quick as possible as well. Just added some ice yellow. Um, you could do this with a number of colors, but since you know this is supposed to be yellow anyway, um, the worst we're going to do, we're going to mix. And we're going to do a bit of a buildup up until we're pure ice yellow. We're not gonna do a ton of transitions. We're gonna take our like 50-50 mix. I'm just gonna add a few little dashes, clean off my brush, and while the paint is still wet, I'm just gonna smooth that out. A little bit of feathering. You can see how that changed how we've got that slight transition, less so on these bottom parts. And wherever you leave the brush is where the most amount of paint. So we want the darkest part, so we're gonna pull up. So we can use this to mix in to pretty much all of our paints. That's gonna give it more of a homogeneous feel. It's not the name for it, but in my brain, I constantly call this monochromatic highlighting. I'm going to come in just with the ice yellow, very, very sparingly. And we're just going to pick the very top pointing parts of the model and highlight those with just a little bit of edge highlighting. And these models are super easy to edge highlight. So good practice. So Herbs has been base coated uh, just like we did Traffic Stop, just with speed paints. And then just to show kind of a contrast between the two, uh, I'm going to just edge highlight 
highlights of that color uh, instead of just using a monochrome highlight. And the good and bad thing about just edge highlighting is that it is a fairly quick method uh, once you get practiced at it and it implies volume on your model but if you really start to look at them uh, they do lack a little bit when it's only edged highlight because it doesn't have that robustness that volumetric highlighting can give to your model that is herbs all edge highlighted it's okay um it took probably 20 minutes longer than uh, doing just the top highlights like on traffic stop and doing a bit of volumetric looks wise i'm more of a fan of this that's just personal all right so we have supercharge all base coated ready to go just like all the others and this one we're gonna do not really nmm but we're going to give it metallic streaks so it kind of looks more like metal pretty much just pick one direction and we're going to say that the, all the shines are going to be about a 45 degree angle if it's a real large panel you can do two and you can vary the widths you can do like a real thin one or you can do kind of a thicker one at the top thinner one at the bottom so everything's going this way so we want to keep it going that way so you know you can use your brush to help guide you and we'll keep this style consistent through the entire model and when you first start it can look a little strange but if you keep at it through the entire thing it all starts to come together about halfway through and this is reminiscent of cell shading but you don't do the black lining on top of everything else now we're going to jump over to cold start he gets based just like everybody else and then we're going to move to one of my favorite methods which is oil paints and while this is an exceedingly quick method uh, my skills are not yet up to snuff where i could get this clean enough uh, to kind of go with the rest of them uh, even though it was very very fast i wasn't as happy with this as I usually am. I'm still working on it. Uh, it works better for me with organic type models. Uh, I did get the highlights in there well enough and everything. They just weren't as clean as I like. And this is a very simple, I apply a blue, I apply a white, and then I just take a brush and blend them together and then come in with an edge highlight just on the top like we did with traffic stop and try to get a nice clean line. And it's not bad, just not as good as I would like it. So with some work, I think I can get this to where it, it needs to be. So I can use this for the rest of them. So we're going to jump over to our last painted model, Ducal, or as me and my friends call him, Doomcal. This is going to be a mixture of every single thing we've done so far. So base painted in speed paints, of course, and then I'm going to come in with oils and then we're going to use the uh, streaking metal uh, cell shading. Even though I really wanted to paint RJ, I did not because she is very, very tiny and doesn't show up extremely well on camera. So, um, But the reason why I like to use oil paints, especially, especially on white, is cause it is super duper smooth. Like you want the smoothest white. I keep hearing people talking about all these different acrylics and everything. Use use oils on your whites, even if you don't use it on anything else. And a key to painting white, make your model gray and then highlight up to white. We're gonna do one last thing to push this model in a very quick way is panel lining super duper quick super duper easy dab a little bit off on some paper towel to get the excess and then anywhere you've got a recess just gently touch the brush to it and you're going to get some instant depth some very nice separation especially like here on this leg panel and for minimal effort 
you are going to get a whole lot of results. Definitely invest in this for any of your bots. And bases, we just take a normal base. We I don't even think I primed this, so the, the paint's going to stick just fine, so don't worry about it. I'm just going to do a gray dry brush and put some masking on it and the texture that's built into the base is going to be our street texture works amazingly and just come in draw some straight lines cut those out on the masking tape and we're gonna just dab a bit of paint orange yellow you can do whichever patterns you want to. I stuck with some real simple stuff. And then the more I build my army, I'll get some more complicated things. Cal got some nice, not complicated, it's just time consuming. And then this is for all of you degenerates out there. It's not a game, it's a red skin. So enough of that came in and I pinned all of their feet to their bases just to secure them in. Yeah, these turned out really good, super fast, super clean paint jobs. Very, very happy with all of these results. 